Welcome to the introduction of Wonderware Operations Integration Servers, OI Servers, the next generation of device integration. Let's start talking about our offering. Our traditional offering supports the most popular platforms in the industrial supervisory market. We want to ensure we expand our coverage by providing more platforms as seen here. It is important for us to continue to grow our market to provide a more robust platform to our users. Similar to our traditional offerings, we really only require one license per node to cover all the servers that we have in our bundles. Let's talk now about application benefits. First, reducing application cost. In a traditional architecture, for example, when I'm using a DA server to connect to multiple controllers, I have a limit of how much I can do in a single node. I also have to take in consideration the licensing, for example, the OS licensing, as well as the licensing per node for our servers. As I need to grow my architecture, I need to expand more nodes which can add cost to my implementation. With the new OI servers, I can actually modify my implementation of my architecture to consolidate what I can do in a single node, eliminating some of the limitations that a single driver can have in a single node. For example, I can now leverage the architecture of OI servers to run multiple instances of that server in a single node, helping me consolidate the architecture given that I have hardware that is feasible to support multiple instances. And all this, again, is accomplished with a single license. Moving forward with our benefits, I can now improve robustness of my systems. For example, in a typical environment, uh, there's cases that I have connectivity problems with one of the controllers. In some cases, that connectivity may affect some of the other controllers that I co have configured with that single architecture. With OI servers, now we have the capability of dividing the architecture so each configuration instance is tied to a single controller, thus eliminating and reducing the single points of failures. By running multiple instances of the same node, any potential problems that may affect one driver instance are isolated to only that instance. Let's continue with the theme of reducing downtime. So for example, when I have a single node, sometimes I have to make configuration changes. Some of those configuration changes require that I reset my DA server that's impacting my uptime or affecting uh, my running environment. With the new OI servers, I can leverage the multi-instance architecture to divide my configuration such that when I need to make configuration changes to one of, of uh, my configuration parameters, that will only affect that particular connection and not all of them running on that machine. Thus, I can maximize my communication uptime without having to be impacted by some of these configuration changes. I can also improve my performance by leverage the multi-instance architecture. So let's see, for example, how that would be in a traditional DA server. When I'm starting the server, the bigger the configuration, the longer the startup is because I have to build that entire architecture and also the CPU time of that DA server has to process through all the configuration. With the OI server now, I can leverage multi-instance capability to divide the architecture and leverage the multi-core environment of a machine so that the start time and the CPU time is now split amongst the different servers because they run independent and that's helped me increase my throughput because I'm leveraging the power independent processing of each individual driver uh, giving me overall throughput and lower CPU usage. One of the other features of the OI servers is the fact that I am lifting some limitations that we have from the past. For example, if I'm using a traditional DA server, I cannot install a different version of the DA server on that same machine. The only thing that I can do is provide an upgrade. So that limits me in some of the plant updates that I want to do. I also cannot combine a DI object of the same type, for example, a GE DA server and a GE DI object, or a Modbus DA server and a Modbus DI object on the same machine. With OI servers now, we have the capability of continue to run the old while also running side by side a new version of the server. In addition, I can also have a DI object and an OI server on the same machine. This gives me the capability of uh, not only supporting multiple versions, 
but also performing plan upgrades on my machine without impacting existing runtime environments. Now, seeing what we have here, we will move a little bit into the licensing offering. With the OI servers, we're now splitting the offering into a standard offering and a professional offering, which divides the value for the user. Now we have more business value associated with the OI servers, and we also will have opportunities for growth from a standard professional and in the future, a premier offering. This release of operation integration servers is helping revitalize our connectivity strategy and our commitment to continue to offer the best supervisory HMI SCADA software in the world. Thanks for watching.